beautiful friends, my name is Katie and in today's video it is a part two of unboxing my sister's Stitch Fix box. If you have not seen it, the first video in this series is what I'm going to call it, then I want you to pause this video and click the card above or the link in the description for the first video where I unbox her first Stitch Fix box on camera and it was just so ridiculously fun. The backstory of this is that my sister likes to get her packages sent to my house and I'm the worst sister in the entire world and I like to open them and see what they contain. Yes, she did give me permission. I'm not committing a federal crime by opening this right now. Just so you guys know, please don't report me. She said I could do it. Yay. For today's video, we are going to unbox her Stitch Fix box and this one is actually a lot smaller than the last one. I'm kind of curious if they've stuffed more into this box like in a smaller way. I mean I love that they're trying to ship things greener. That's always a plus but I'm also curious like does that mean we just get less stuff in this one? Also I'm pretty sure this one is actually heavier so I'm gonna weigh it real quick. All right guys you can see that this one weighs three pounds and oh wait five ounces <laughs> i hit it with the microphone before we start this video if you guys want to give it a big thumbs up that would really help me and help the youtube algorithm and maybe one day i'll actually be able to get my own stitch fix box instead of just always having to steal my sister's things and if you're not subscribed yet hit that subscribe button down below because again it's free for you guys and it just helps me and you know it'd be great but we are going to open a box of things because last time I had already opened the box to show her what was inside. But it comes with an envelope so we can send items back if we don't like them. They did a pretty cute job of the packaging. Here's her burrito of items for today and these actually feel super, super soft. So we are going to see. I feel so bad just like ripping her packaging open. Maybe I can just like shimmy it out and, you know, let her, woo, let her see later. Ooh! Lots of yellow, which is our vibe for the day. Also, this dress is thrifted from Free People, and I never buy anything from Free People purely because I am broke and don't have enough money for that brand. But oh my gosh, I put this on and was like, I freaking love this. And if I could afford their clothing, I would in a heartbeat. Gorgeous. All right, so our first, uh, so we've got five clothing items up, which is good because the bag last time was just a waste. Ooh! Oh, I think she might like this. This is so cute. It's kind of a weird sticky, like this material is kind of stuck to each self. So this first dress up is called the Kaylee Tasha knit dress and it is $50. So let's see how it looks. Our first item up is this dress, which again is kind of a weird material, but I feel like she's really gonna like this one. Her legs are longer than mine, if that makes any sense at all. We are still the same height, oddly enough, but her legs are like longer. So I think this length would look so pretty on her because it would actually hit like right above her knee. And the back is kind of cool. It's got this zigzaggy cross thing happening. So overall, I feel like she would really like this and it would look good. Also, her skin tone is very olive and tan. I'm just looking in the viewfinder and maybe editing Katie will see this differently, but I feel like it's just like an extension of my same weird color and probably doesn't look that great on me or maybe I'm just too critical. I think this will look really good on her because she's a different body shape than me and is tanner. <laughs> has more olive to it but she had told me she was specifically looking for pretty dresses to wear this summer that also had multifunctional. so I feel like this is one that you could wear to church but you could wear to a bridal shower and wouldn't look like you're going to a funeral so I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up you guys let me know next item up is this yellow shirt that when I first saw it I was like "Ooh, she gonna not like this because it's completely see-through but then I realized that it is actually meant to be like a duster or a swimsuit cover and I do like that it's yellow I'm not sure where on earth my sister is wearing this honestly I get that it's like oh you could wear it like as a pool cover-up I totally understand that I, I don't even know like this I feel like is cute but I feel like is a thousand percent not her vibe and it's not really my vibe either because I guess it's just like I like the sleeves, but I hate them all at the same time. Like, y'all let me know what you think in the comments below on this one, but I just, I don't know. I don't know how you'd really style this, and I'm just a little bit perplexed by it, I guess. Like, I guess it's like, it's, ah, <laughs> I don't even know. This one is called Emery Park Landy Crochet 
trim open front in mustard. It is $44. I guess I have such a bad understanding now of how much clothing should cost firsthand because I'm just looking at this like $44 is a lot of money for this, but it probably isn't. That's probably a fair price for clothing firsthand, but I'm just thinking like, I find a lot of these kind of like swimsuit dustery thingies at the thrift store for not $44. <laughs> Next up is this striped shirt from the brand Pink Clover, and y'all know I love me some stripes, and my sister and I have this just funny joke about like, we just can't turn away from stripes. So even though she got a striped shirt in the last video, and I know she did keep that striped shirt, I feel like this is one she would also keep because oh my goodness this one is so freaking soft oh my gosh guys I am in love this thing oh she looks so good and this one has a good arm length on it I find a lot of times shirts now just because my arms are not very long I'll hit they hit in such a weird spot so I actually like where these hit I think this one is so cute this shirt is $36 and it is so it's just so soft. My only concern is that because it is this ultra soft material, I do wonder how this would wear, if it would pill and pick in the dryer, or if it would actually just look this fabulous all the time. Also, one thing I really like as well, it is super stretchy and fabulous. It has some details in the back with buttons. That is something that she has a lot of shirts with that detail already on it, so I feel like she will really like this. All right, next up is this tank top that actually has a lot of detail on it, which I can't see, I can't figure out if you guys can see any of this at all in the camera. This shirt is $68, which I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I think $68 for a shirt is just too much money in general. Can you see any of the detail on it now, or does it just look like a blob? So it does have a bunch of detail on it, and then it has a thing in the back and I guess I guess where I would go with this is that if you had buttloads of money then sure this shirt is fine but again it's just $68 to me just is too much for a tank top that really doesn't seem that special in general not loving it but I'm gonna put the duster on to see if maybe that spices this outfit up all right y'all how do what do we think are we going out for margaritas now it's definitely one of those vibes where you're like do I look rich or do I just look crazy? Cause like looking crazy, not a vibe, but looking rich, why not? And then our last item up is this pair of jeans, which is by the brand Studio Blue. And these are the Aranonza skinny jeans and in Indigo. These jeans are $52. And right now at most of the thrift stores in my area, jeans range between seven and $10. The price of denim has gone up at the secondhand store where they get the items for free. At least in my area, you still can get jeans for a fifth of this price. But I guess the good news is, is that right now you can't try anything on, but I can try these on in the comfort of my home. So that's one thing. So here are the jeans. They are still indeed skinny, which is something we like as millennials. We like our skinny jeans. I, these are not actually in my correct size, but I do like how stretchy they are and how they're just, they're all of the things. Like you can really move, you can move your knees. Whoops. These are nice and high rise. They come up directly to my belly button. So one thing to note is that when I first opened her Stitch Fix box last time, and I was like, hey, everyone loves this. Can I keep doing this? She was like, sure, I'll get my next box in April. It is now May 5th when we got this next box. It was incredibly delayed. And the problem with that is that she had picked out kind of ideas of what she wanted and now it's gonna be 90 degrees. So while having a pair of pants would be super cool, she probably doesn't need them since we're about to go into summer. It's just gonna be so absolutely hot and we live in Virginia where the humidity is through the roof. So I just feel like she'll probably like these, but probably won't keep them because it's just gonna be too hot. Alrighty guys, we are now going to play the numbers game. So so if she kept all five items, that would be a grand total of $250. But with Stitch Fix, we know that you get a 25% off discount if you buy all of the items in the box, which would take off $62.50, leaving her a new total of $187.50. And then for some reason, you get a styling fee purchase credit of negative $20. Your shipping is free, which would take it down to $167. 50 if she kept all five of the items. Do I think she's gonna keep all five items? Absolutely not. At most, I think she will keep one item, which again, 
comment down below what your favorite item is so I can let her know. I think she'll end up keeping this shirt because this shirt was only $36 and then if you minus that $20 styling fee it would then be $16 which is not bad for a shirt especially I mean this is just such a comfy shirt I think she would end up keeping this one overall or I think she would end up keeping this yellow dress because this one was $50 and then if you less that $20 styling fee that would make this only $30 which again these two items at that price are more similar to what you would find at like Target or any other store when they're actually on sale and I think these two would be really cute pieces for her wardrobe I think the jeans she's probably gonna let go and the other two tops are just not her style at all I don't see any way that she would honestly keep those two items so next up I'm going to head to the thrift store and see if I can find five items that are similar to the items in this box and see what we can find secondhand and how much that would be versus her box in general so hit subscribe so you can see the next video if you want to ring the bell notification why not that seems like a fun thing to do and I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video bye